Hello, this is Seema Rajpal and I welcome you to another episode of Straight Up by edX Life. Blockchain technology in elections? Yes, that's right. Only we are not talking about the upcoming Lok Sabha elections 2024. We are talking about the student body elections conducted at the Indian Institute of Technology Madras. Students of WebOps and Blockchain Club from the Center for Innovation (CFI), IIT Madras, developed the software to conduct the elections through blockchain technology. This was back in the year 2022. So imagine how much it must have evolved by now. Using blockchain technology in election systems makes it so much more transformative, transparent, and tamper-proof. What's more, it also helps with cost reduction. So let's jump right into this fascinating story by going straight to Anirudh Barna, B.Tech fourth-year student from the Department of Ocean Engineering, IIT Madras. He was part of the WebOps and Blockchain Club. So Anirudh, what was your thought process behind developing this method, and what is blockchain technology? Can you explain it to us in simple terms, please? So our thought process went like this. So the problem statement we are looking, we were looking at is how do we make blockchain uh, elections in general more transparent, uh, more auditable, uh, and more accessible to the people. Uh, so that is when we came around how blockchain can impact this. So to simply tell blockchain in a couple of words, it's a distributed and immutable ledger which is maintained by a couple of computers over a network. Uh, so the best analogy for this, what you can think of, is uh, it is sort of like writing on stone. So you can, you know, write on stone, but you can't change it without destroying what you wrote just now. So that makes it immutable, uh, and you can't, you know, entirely lose record of something if until you destroy the stone. In a way, it is immutable. So once if you change something, it is always is always visible, uh, and. It's immutable, and the third thing is that you can also not replace it with anything else. So replication is also not possible. So these properties of a blockchain is what makes it unique, and that helps a lot in making election systems far more transparent, auditable. So tell us more about this exciting story behind developing it. So initially, when we started developing this, we uh, were just a group of students. Uh, we were working on a couple of projects, and this was one of them. Uh, it was a, mostly a team of undergraduate students, and we developed a prototype of it, and we tested it out in a very small population. Uh, we learned from that and how it can be improved, how it has to be made better, how good it should be, uh, and uh, you know, a couple of improvements like that. And eventually, the learning we got there. Uh, came into Plenum, so that is the startup of which I am the executive lead of, and we commercialize some aspects of this uh, of the blockchain system, uh, and through that we uh, developed the election system this time. What are the improvements you've made to the system this time around? So this had a couple of improvements from the last time. So we added auditing systems, uh, we added a admin kind of dashboard where the uh, you know authority conducting the election can see multiple statistics of what is actually happening live. Uh, and we also moved to a far more scalable architecture, and we, you know, aim to scale this beyond what we have done this year. Now, how about we look at what you have developed in the context of general elections? Uh, and now, looking at the um, uh, aspect of this in the general elections or in the national Indian elections, um, now IIT Madras is a controlled, uh, you know, population and a controlled environment where uh, a lot of vectors do not really open up. For example, the internet connection here itself or the network we use here itself is monitored, uh, but that is not going to be the same if we look at even a municipal election. So there is a lot of you know networks running around, uh, and also there is a lot of people with you know uh, different access to technology. Some people will not have the access to you know high technology I think many practical considerations like this have to be taken uh, and and if we expand this to the scope of india it's it's even far more diverse uh, so but uh, we believe this is a first step towards that direction uh, and we believe you know we you know, aim to solve problems and you know kind of fix the issues iteratively uh, one after the other and eventually we aim to make it so that shortly we'll be able to run elections on the blockchain for the entire country and uh, you'll be able to Uh, you know, cast votes at a fraction of the cost of what what it takes uh, currently with the, the existing system, and it will be far more secure and auditable by the public as well. So we aim to deploy this, you know, in the future for the entire country. And that's all we have for you today. We will see you again tomorrow. Till then, mask up, stay hydrated, and stay safe.